Hi guys, the registrations for ZAC 2023, the exam that you will have to take to get an admission into XLRI's BM or HRM program, along with a lot of other institutes and uh, who accept ZAT scores is ZAT 2023. According to the notification that came out, ZAT 2023 is going to be conducted on 8th of January, on 20, 8th of January 2023 from 9.30 a.m to 12 30 pm so it is going to be a three hour test just like it used to be in the previous year so i am guessing that there is not a lot of changes that has that are going to happen to the pattern of the zat exam in this video what we are going to take what i am going to take you through is the step by step filling process or registration process for zat most of the students have generally come up with these questions ki zat is a difficult exam sir mujhe bharna bhi chahiye ki nahi Please understand if the type of questions or the level of questions in a paper like that are difficult, at a lower score, you'll get a higher question. So, and what is one very, very important thing is that most institutes that, will, that you will apply to through CAT, that, will, that scores will also be accepted by those institutes. The good point or the point of differentiation between that and CAT as exam is essentially that that has no sectional time limit. So, there is a choice for you to navigate between the sections and divide the time and that that is why a strategy can be developed for attempting that however in cat what will happen is that you have a limited time limited time frame of 40 minutes to attempt a particular section and that is where i suggest generally that if you are applying for cat please do apply for that also so that you get an opportunity in institutes that that accept both cat and that scores you may apply to that institute through your CAT score or that score, whatever is the best will be accepted. And according to that, you will have a better chance at that particular institute. So we are going to look at the step-by-step -step registration process. This is the URL. This particular thing is the URL for ZAT, ZATonline.in. This is where you will have to first log into and then register yourself. But before we go through the entire registration process, let us look at the details that are given on this website. The home page says that uh, the registration starts today, that is 10th August 2022. Date of examination is 8th January, as I told you. So ZAT is uh, conducted by XLRI and uh, that would be conducted across the cities in India. So this is the list of cities. Just look at whatever, whichever is the city that is going to be in your vicinity. And when you set, select the test city center while filling the form, make sure that you are selecting that city. Then uh, there, there is information give, uh, given about the associate members. The, that means the colleges that are going to accept that scores for their MBA programs. And then there is a gallery over here given. So the home page gives you an overall idea about what that is going to be. Let us look at the registration process. What is it that they are going to say? First of all, you have to register yourself. Then you verify your email ID. Once you register yourself, you will get an email. You will get an email with the, uh, you, you will be getting an email with your registration and password. Then you start filling the application form. You When you fill the application form, there are some documents that are required that you will have to upload. Then you pay the application fee and you submit your application form. So the instructions, detailed instructions are given over here. Detailed instructions are given over here. So please make sure that before filling the form, you are going through these instructions so that you don't fill in any wrong details, especially you don't fill in a wrong photograph or a signature image that is there, right? So there are given, there are some directions given for scanning the photograph and the signature as well. So make sure that you are going through the registration process, everything in this registration process instructions very, very carefully. Then there is something given about the associate institutes. You can see that there are 96 associate institutes which will be accepting that scores. And there are ZAMI members, there are 12 other institutes that will be accepting that scores. So make sure that you also go through this before you fill the form. However, while you are filling the ZAT form, you may not need to apply to all of these institutes at the same point in time. You may apply to these different types of institutes differently and make sure that you put in your ZAT application number while you're applying to these institutes as well. Then let us quickly take a look at the FAQs. 
Let us look at what is the test going to be like. The test related enquiries, when shall I receive the CAT 20, ZAT 2023 admit card? Very late in December. Duration of the test is 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. as I said, three hours on January 8th. The results will be out in three weeks. Any sectional time limit? No, there is will not be sectional time limit, but there will be an overall time limit. Matlab, pura paper itne ghante ka hoga. This is the overall time limit that is going to be there. Will the candidates have access to an on-screen calculator? No, there is no on-screen calculator. Unlike CAT, there is no on-screen calculator available in ZAT. Will the candidates be able to choose the order of their sections? Yes, because there is no sectional time limit. You can always toggle between the sections and hence you can apply, uh, you can attempt these sections in any order that you prefer for yourself. Can the candidates switch between sections? Yes, obvious. With sectional partitions, will the candidates be allowed to decide the order of the sections? That is the same question as question six. And uh, what will happen in case of a technical glitch? It is unlikely to happen, but if there is a technical glitch ha uh, happening, you just on that day, you just uh, call up the invigilator and say, Ki, boss, ye ho hai, yaar, mere saath, please help me. Then there are FAQs about application related uh, queries. How do I reconfirm that my application is safe? So you log in again to the page and see the, your application status and take a printout or uh, convert it into a PDF and save it on your computer. After filling up the form, I got a blank screen, the internet got dis uh, disconnected. Application form will be saved till the last stage and you may continue from where you left by logging in on your dashboard if something like this happens. Okay, no changing of details entered in the application form will be entertained. I am in final year of graduation. What percentage should I apply? You should apply. You, you should mention the percentage that you have till the time of form. I have done five years integrated course. Candidates who have done five year integrated course can fill up the same percentage for graduation and post graduation. Dono make it is dal do. How do I calculate aggregate marks for CBSE or SSC for? Is it the best for all five subjects? No, it is all subjects that are there in your 10th class mark sheet right you're not going to do a best five okay six subjects you have taken then calculate the percentage for all the six subjects and then put it what do i do if i am unable to make online payments so sometimes you will issue you, you will face these issues that the payment gateway is not working just wait and re-log in and just try it you, you should be able to do that so there are eligibility criteria related queries also so everyone will have a different eligibility uh, different question over here so make sure that you are going through the faqs also before you start filling your form so let us start with the registration process so the registration process let me just enter my credentials over here so the name that you are entering must be the same as in your 10th class 12th class and graduation mark sheets so that is why you will see that my name thoda that is the name that I have over there. Uh, then you confirm your email ID and your mobile number. Okay. So, so it is asking me to confirm a password. So let us put some password over here so that is the password i have put over here select state the uh, state is telangana select city where do i live i live in hyderabad hyderabad can i have hyderabad 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 hyderabad, hyderabad is over here and uh, we enter the captcha e05 e05 05 e is my captcha okay i agree to receive information uh, regarding my registration yes please make sure that you click on that please make you sure that you click on that and if you are using your own computer it makes sense that you also save your password over here so i have updated my password so back to home all right, let me just check my email and come back. So what you will get is an email that will look like this. 
they will send you that you have successfully registered this is this doesn't mean that you have completely filled the form this is a verification email you have to click on verify email once you click on verify email this is where they will be taking you to this is where we, they will be taking you to now this is my dashboard this is my dashboard it says welcome mahavadi because my first name seems to be mahavadi in my and class mark sheet now you have to apply click on apply over here and uh, let's get started with the process that's going to be so in the application form the first window that will pop up is the one which requires your basic details so title is mr mahavadi raviteja suranarayana and the alternate email id is not mandatory you may very well give it if you require date of birth is what you will have to be very very careful about date of birth is what you'll have to be very very careful about select the correct date of birth from the drop down that is there so my age comes here gender selected nationality select indian if you are an indian if you have some other nationality select that uh married blood group baap re bahut zyada detail maang rahe hai mujhko category general um do you belong to pwd no i don't so do you belong to a kashmiri migrant family no do you be belong to a non kashmiri kashmiri non migrant family not that either parents details okay father and mother's details father's title mr father's name surinarayan email id of father this mobile number i'll just give my number only father's occupation retired mother's title mrs mother's name mother's email address is not mandatory father's mother's mobile number baap re mere haq ki zameen mang raha hai ye form to mother's occupation non executive mother's designation organization mother's annual income is absolutely uh your your wish if you want to put it here it is not mandatory that you go about that country india still telangana city hyderabad district hyderabad address city 1 i'll just put it down pin code okay so i have submitted my basic details now it will ask me about my academic details let's quickly take a look at what are the things that are required for the academic details part of it so in the academic details make sure that you go through the instructions make sure that you go through the instructions especially 10th class don't go for a best five you have to put all the you will have to put all the details that are required so 10th state maharashtra 10th city maharashtra mein the city that i studied from was chandrapur 10th institute name institute name board maharashtra state board of msbs hsc year of passing you just put down the details for the year of passing as well 2009 marking scheme was percentage at that point in time maximum marks is 50 obtain mark 568 87.38 then after 10th class qualification just tick if you have a diploma or you have 12 so 12th and diploma are treated alike over here so 12th state is 12th state is erstwhile andhra pradesh now telangana 12th city was hyderabad which is not available here so i'll just put telangana over here instead of that okay 12th institute name
board or university was uh, board of intermediate education on the pradesh board of intermediate education on the pradesh where is it It is here on the Pradesh Board of Intermediate Education stream was science year of passing was Pandra. Oh, sorry, 2011. Marking scheme was percentage again, maximum marks 1000, marks received 942. Obtain CGP or percentage will automatically get calculated over there. Do you have any professional degree? No. What happens if I select yes? Then it is only asking us about the details of the degree. Then degree ka percentage calculations is what you'll have to give if you have a professional degree that is. So in my case, I'm going with no. Graduation details, graduation type. See, single, dual or integrated depending on what type of graduation you give. So let us say you have done integrated. Let us say you have done integrated or I, I for my, in my case, it is single. So graduation state was uh, Maharashtra. Graduation university board or university. Now for university graduation type. Central university, state university. It was a state university. Graduation semester wise it was. Okay. So select degree. My degree was BE stream mechanical. Engineering. Year of passing, 2015. Make sure that all of these details that you are filling are best to your knowledge. Result stated is declared. So if you are actually attempt, if, if you are yet to complete your, if you are yet to complete your graduation also, you can select year of passing that is going to be 2022. It will give you an option. To select a 2023 tak option dega select in that case result you will put away too. if you are completed with your graduation you will put the result is declared marking scheme was cgpa out of 10 cgpa obtained was 7.22 save data last year ka hai. very good do you have a postgraduate degree i'll go for a no right now okay graduation college why 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 Yashwantrao Jawan College of Engineering and I have finished my academic details as well. So the next details that they will ask you is work experience details. So work experience details. Do you have any work experience? Yes. If you don't have any work experience, then your life is very chill. No. And then you only put program details that you want. Do you want to apply for XLRI? If yes, then you will have to check for which of these college programs do you want to apply. Now, XLRI is business management program is their core MBA program. XLRI is human resource management program is as good as their business management program. And it is actually, you know, compare it to XLRI HRM is probably the best HRM program that you can find in the country. The general management program is a 15 month program for people who have work experience. Fellow management fellowship program in management is the PhD program. Right. So make sure that you are selecting the correct program from here. If you are applying to those programs, in my case, I'm not applying to any of these programs because I don't want to compete with you people and I don't want to take a seat from any one of you. So do you have a work experience? If you have work experience, then you will have to fill in all these details. I'm going with a no. I'm going with a no because I don't really have to apply to that college. Select first sentence. Test city preference is what you'll have to put over here. Test city. Test city preference is obviously going to be Hyderabad. Second test city preference. I'll probably go ahead with the uh, Nagpur, which is close to Hyderabad. Okay. Do you have work experience? Let us see if I select yes, what will happen? Work experience as on 31st March 2023. So as on 31st March 2023, what is your expected work experience next year is what you'll have to put over here. 
please note that you will only have to note you, you will only have to enter your work experience as of full work experience as of 31st march 2023 only full time experience after graduation must be entered so if you are doing some you have been doing some part time job along with your graduation that won't count over here no internship will be counted over here either part time project internship article ship pre graduation work experience should not be entered and will not be counted as work experience is one thing that you will definitely have to make sure so once you fill this let us say that i go with the 2020 february 12th to a date which is 2023 march 31st is what i can put duration of service will automatically automatically get updated over here so according to that you can add the name of employer and your designation there you can add more columns as well you can add more rows as well to this depending on how many work how many companies you have actually worked in so i am going with a no right now but who, whoever has work experience please make sure that you are furnishing these details to the best of your knowledge so once i am done with the work experience and program details there is no 10th class ka mark sheet or 12th class ka mark sheet that it has asked me so far all that i have to all that i have to upload as my documents are my recent passport size photograph let me just check if i have one recent passport size photograph yes and uh, files format allowed is only jpg okay so i have probably selected a png which won't work so jpg okay one file i have uploaded over here similarly signature please make sure that there is a folder where your photograph and signature are kept handy before you start filling the form itself proof of identity select any proof of identity that you want then you will have to upload your aadhar card number also and also your proof of identity ka photograph scanned copy of that so please make sure when you are starting to fill this form your proof of identity is also ready with you so make sure that the details furnished by you are absolutely true to your knowledge i am repeating this again and again because you won't be given any other window you won't be given any other window to go ahead and change whatever you have done over here so once you have done your uploading of all of your documents then the last step is completing your payment so here you will have you will have a chance to preview your form applicant name you will have to see that whatever is written in this declaration please read it i hereby certify that the information given by me in this application form is true to the best of my knowledge i certify the that i fulfill the eligibility criteria and undertake to produce original documents whenever necessary and i will not demand any reschedule of the exam i agree to abide by the declaration of the authorities regarding the eligibility of my application and understand that any misrepresentation or omission of facts in my application may justify cancellation of my application and scores i agree to share my zat scores with the zat associate members the zat online date mentioned on the website is subject to change okay it may change also it is what is given so this is the last step before you continue and full complete your payment make sure that you are previewing your application form and making sure that all the details furnished by you in the application form are true are correct please make sure that you do that before you finally proceed for the payment so please make sure you are previewing all of your details the basic details have you furnished it to the best of your knowledge are all the details correct if anything you want to edit you can edit it only now before you make the payment it will give you an option to edit over here 
even the academic details you can edit if you want only now you cannot edit these academic details once the form is fully submitted so please make sure that you are please make sure that you have done all of these things and you up, you you, you go through each and everything in the preview again making sure that all the details mentioned by you are correct and then you proceed to the make payment part of it then it will take you through then it will take you through the making of payment once you are done with this payment of 2000 rupees you are done once you are done with this payment of 2000 rupees you are done with the application form of that so exact please understand that if you are selecting more more sub more you know, you're selecting the programs of XLRI also. You're selecting the programs of XLRI also. For example, over here, program details. If I go back to the work experience or program details. Let me just quickly go back to it. To this segment, work experience slash program details. As of now, I did not offer any of the programs, but if I want to edit, I can edit over here. Do you want to offer XLRI? Yes. If I am selecting business management over here and then I go for make payment. Okay. It is asking me to save first. Okay. Application is saved successfully. Now I can go proceed to making payment. Now suddenly you'll change and see that the payment that I have to make is 2200. So for every additional program at XLRI that you want to apply to, you will have to make an additional payment of 200 rupees over and above the 2000 rupees that you have to pay for the ZAT application form. Please note that if you're selecting these programs over here, your application for the programs at XLRI is done. But the other colleges that will be accepting ZAT score, that application you will have to do separately individually in that college's website okay so only to xlri you can apply through that directly in this particular form itself right so go ahead and make your payment once you have checked all the details correctly go ahead and make your payment once you have checked all the details correctly please don't be in a hurry to fill the form very very quickly as a kuch nahi hai please take your time make sure that you have kept your photograph signature 10th class mark sheet 12th class mark sheet as well as your identity proof with a photograph available before you start filling the form so that this session doesn't log out in between and stuff so that was the video guys i think it uh, it must have answered most of the queries that you have related to the that form filling Still, after watching this video, if you feel that there are other queries that you have, please put it in the comment section. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you. Please like our videos and subscribe to our channel for further up updates related to B-Schools and MBA exams. Thank you.